All right, next we'll get this cross pipe back into its position. And put these bolts back in. Okay, these bolts have to be tightened down to nine foot pounds. It's time to start working on the intake manifold. I took this wire and basically plugged it into this connector. Let me take it off real quick, show you guys. So, this one that's attached to this wiring harness. I pushed it behind here. It was normally hooked on to the back of the intake manifold, but if I ever want to remove that again, I don't want to have to deal with that again. So, there we go. That's hooked on and I just tucked it behind here. This one's gonna get connected to the intake manifold itself. And so is this one. They just plug into the back. Now let's put that on and plug those two back in. Okay, so just to show you guys, that's for the plug and that's for that little vacuum line right there. So this is the back of the intake manifold. This is gonna have to be shoved behind all those wires so that it can be connected to the brake booster. I just laid the intake manifold on top, but before I put it all the way back, I am gonna swap out these two coolant lines right here. So those two coolant lines have been replaced. So now I'm just gonna run this tube behind here and connect these, uh, the little vacuum line I guess, and the connector to the back and drop the whole uh, intake manifold in place. The two rear bolts you can now remove because remember they're I'm going to be sliding underneath here, but you don't want them being at the bottom either. So what I did is I took some tape and I just kind of taped them slightly up until I pushed them in there and I'll just remove the tape and they should be able to slide in there perfectly. All right, so intake manifold has slid back into place. One other thing I don't know if I mentioned previously, this tube. You need to make sure that you slide it behind here. Uh, remember, this part is going to pop right into uh, this oil or uh, valve cover, and then it comes around. And here's the other portion of it. So this is going to plug in So this is this piece is going to plug in to um, the valve cover as well and then this little piece attaches right there on top of that bolt. From the intake manifold, remember the brake booster line comes in and we plug it in to the brake booster itself. So now we just got to make sure to reattach this clamp back on here. All right, next we're going to attach the intake manifold bolts back into their positions. I've already head tightened the rear ones. So now we just got to do the other ones, which I think it's one, two, three, four, eight more bolts. So let's get those hand tightened before we start torquing them down. On the driver's side, when you get back to the four bolts, so the one right before the last one, uh, there's this 
metal bracket. I'm sure you can see. Slide that over the hole and then slide the bolt through. That should look something like that right there. And the other part of the metal bracket, of course, if you remove that, goes back all the way to the, uh, the last bolt. Okay, next, now that we have tightened them down, we're going to have to torque them down to 44 inch pounds. Um, they follow a specific order as well. For example, passenger side middle is the first one, then driver side middle is the second one, driver side basically second from the firewall is the third one, fourth one is the second from the front on the passenger side, fifth one is the second from the firewall on the passenger side. Six is right there, which is the second from the front on the driver's side. Seven is right there, the first one uh, from the front on the driver's side. Eight is the one closest to the, far, to the firewall on the passenger side. Nine is the one closest to the firewall on the driver's side. And 10 is the closest one to the front on the passenger side. Tighten them all down to 44 inch pounds. Tell you the truth, the rear ones I couldn't even reach with my torque wrench. So I just hand tightened it to what I felt like approximately 44 inch pounds. I guess whatever that feels like. And uh, now we got to do a second pass. And that second pass is. We're going to follow that same sequence, but with 89 inch pounds this time. So everything's been tightened down. At this point, uh, we can start basically reconnecting everything, all of the fuel injectors, etc., etc. Um, but it's about 9 o'clock right now, so I'm going to leave it off as is. But glad I got this far. This was. <clears throat> one of my painful in my head things that I needed to do because of all the stuff that's going on behind here. The other one is the radiator and the fan that's again in my head stuck as something painful to do. Hopefully maybe another day's work to work maybe a little bit more than that depending on if I have to look at stuff and figure it out. And put the fluids in and <laughs> crank it up.